everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can create this adorable mini plant hanger. You can use this little plant hanger to decorate your rear view mirror in your car, an office, a locker, or any other space you wish. Let's get started. Okay, so I just want to show you guys the ring I'll be using for my little plant hanger. And this is just a binder ring that opens and it closes. So you can use any ring you want or even string to form um, a ring. But I'm using a binder ring so that I can easily clip this onto a rear view mirror. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you all. Now take your six cords and drape them over your ring. Make sure that your cords are even on both sides where they hang down. Now we're going to secure these ropes into place on our ring with a gathering knot. So bring in another cord and fold it in half so that you have a short tail that sticks up, a loop that hangs below, and then a long string. Place your rope directly on top of all the other ropes and then using the long piece of cord, start wrapping it around everything. As you wrap, you just want to make sure that short piece of cord is sticking up and your loop is hanging below. I recommend wrapping your knot at least five times. Then once you have that wrapped, send the piece we were just using to wrap right into the loop. Then take the short piece sticking up and give it a nice gentle tug to pull the knot through the gathered section. Okay. Once it's through, you can take both ends of the knot and pull on them together to tighten and secure the knot into place. Once you have done that, take each individual cord and pull on them gently to smooth out the knot and position the gathered section at the top. After you smooth out all those cords, just pull on the two gathering knot cords one more time just to make sure it's locked and secured into place. Then take a pair of scissors and just trim off those ends we used to make the knot. Then you can take a little tapestry needle or another object with a point to push up any ends that are still sticking out under the gathered section. Now we're going to begin tying the main sections of our project. So we're going to be working in three sections of four. Using your first section of four, begin tying 10 alternating half hitch knots. So to do this, I'm going to take the two cords on the right side, cross it over the two cords on the left to form a loop. Then I just twist it around the cords and pull it through the loop and I'm going to pull that nice and tight. Now I'm going to do the alternating part where I now take the cords on the left to cross over the two cords on the right side to form a loop, twist it around the right cords and then pull it through the loop and pull it tight. And that is all there is to this. So now I'm just repeating for a total of 10 knots. As you form your knots, try to keep your ropes stacked neatly on top of each other. This will just give it a more polished and neat look.
And this is what it will look like once you have all 10 knots finished. So now I'm just going to take my ring and rotate it around. I'm going to grab four more cords and work on that second section using the same method as before. Now just move on and repeat one more time on your final section of four. And here is what the project will look like now with all three sections complete. They should all match. Now we're going to work on connecting our sections together. So I'm going to take a tape measure and measure down from the last knot about an inch and a half to two inches, okay? From this spot, I'm going to tie a square knot connecting two sections together. So I just take the two innermost cords from two adjacent sections. And with these, I'm going to tie a square knot. So to make a square knot, I'm going to take the side here on the far right to cross over the two cords in the middle to form a loop. Then I'm going to take the side on the left to go over that right cord. I'm going to send it behind the two in the middle and then pull it up through the loop. And I'm going to pull that nice and tight. Then to finish out my square knot, I take the side on the left to go over the two cords in the middle to form a loop. The side on the right then goes over that left cord, behind the two in the middle, and up through the loop. And I'm going to pull that nice and tight. Okay, and after you make your square knot, just take a little peek at your ropes and make sure they're hanging straight down. You don't want these ropes to cross or anything like that. Now after this first square knot, I'm just going to tie two more square knots right after it for a total of three in a row. Just like that. Now we're going to kind of spin our project around and take two new cords from two adjacent sections to connect them together. So you just want to match the location from what we did here or again you can use your measuring tape to make it even more precise and just start tying those three square knots in a row as before. Okay, and here's what it looks like once you have those two sections complete. 
So just rotate your ring around one more time. And we're going to take the very last two cords here and tie those three square knots once again in a row. Match them in the same location as the other sections. And make sure you don't cross your ropes as you do this. Okay, now it is time to close the bottom of our plant hanger and all we're going to do is be tying another gathering knot directly below those groups of square knots. So just bring in that new cord and once again we're tying it as we did at the start of our project. Once you have that formed, just pull each individual string again that hangs down below like we did at the start of the project just to smooth it out and make sure our gathering knot is pushed up against those square knots. Okay, you can kind of adjust too to separate your basket slightly and then just tighten that gathering knot one more time before we trim the ends. Use your tapestry needle again to push up any remaining ends that stick out. Now lastly, we can take a pair of scissors and just trim the ends to the desired length, okay? And here is what our mini plant hanger looks like with a two inch pot inside. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.